This is Heidi at Swiss Flower and Gift Cottage, and we have been here for almost 50 years. Family-owned flower shop in Wheatridge. Grew up right here on this same property. It has been a flower shop and greenhouse, and now has turned over the years into a fabulous 5,000 square feet of retail therapy, having the fresh flowers, the home decor, gifts, we do high tea by reservation. There isn't anything like this. I kind of feel like the shop provides something that's missing. We're certainly not your typical flower shop. It's more of an experience to come here. And this is Scruffy. Some people come just to see Scruffy. And then the design room will be back here. We have a little more space to be processing. My latest adventure is to build the building next door, which will be a little over 6,000 square feet of more home decor, the jewelry, the flowers. So basically, anything that makes you happy is what will be going on next door. I have a fabulous six-foot uh, ceiling fan that will go up there. It's a really nice open feel. Swiss Flower and Gift Cottage owners Heidi and Russ approached us approximately a year and a half ago with a request to use tax increment financing to help build this new building. They realized it was going to be a very expensive project uh, with acquisition of the land, clearing off the old house that was on there, and then construction. So we were able to analyze the project, use a performance that they provided, and determine that there was the but-for proposition, that they needed our money to actually make this project move forward. So our Urban Renewal Authority Board of Directors elected to provide tax and refinancing to help build this two-story retail building and approximately 9,000 square feet of light industrial product that will be located behind the retail business. So that's going to not only help to take an empty lot and create it into a viable project, but it's also going to create sales tax for the city, it's going to create property tax, and it's going to create new jobs in the city of Wheat Ridge. Some of the improvements needed to develop the property here included repaving half of Jellison Street to taper into the new sidewalk that we had to put in. It was about 400 feet of new sidewalk. The amenity zone that will be on 44th and Jellison Street will also have two new street lights as well as over 300 trees and shrubs that will need to be planted. We needed to lower the water main and the sewer line on 44th. The utilities had to be brought across 44th and down Jellison Street, so those had to be put underground. The uh, school zone sign it is now a new solar school zone sign at the end of the existing property. All of these improvements were figured into the expenses that we've had to pay out of pocket, and after a year, TIF will kick in and we will see the benefit of the TIF from the property taxes as well as the sales taxes that will then help offset those improvement costs. A lot of people don't really understand exactly how tax increment financing works, but we're actually using the property tax generated on that specific site to help move forward. So in the case of Swiss Flower and Gift Cottage, we were able to take that property tax that normally goes to the county and used anywhere throughout the county. It now flows directly back into Wheat Ridge to be used specifically in Wheat Ridge on that activity or within that urban renewal project area. So it's money that directly benefits Wheat Ridge, its citizens and its businesses. The City of Wheat Ridge, the Urban Renewal Authority, and everyone in City Hall behind me is really dedicated to making sure that we support our small business. So we try to help them any way we can, whether it's through tax increment financing, using local works to provide grants, loans, the Wheat Ridge Business District grants and loans, or just helping them to make it easier to work through the City Hall process. We're here to help small business. It's quite an honor to be one of the shops on 44th that is almost 50 years of being in existence and striving through all of the ups and downs in the economy. And I think it's being diversified in all the different areas that has helped propel it and fill the need for the customers that come here.